Not only does hydroxychloroquine not work to fight COVID, it can actually make patients sicker and even more likely to die. There is no evidence that tells us that taking hydroxychloroquine is either safe or effective. There's right now, to be clear, no evidence that it works to treat this disease. Well, a new hydroxychloroquine study has just dropped and it could have all those experts eating their words. The Henry Ford Health System in Michigan tonight is announcing that hydroxychloroquine significantly reduced death rates among sick and hospitalized COVID patients. In this much anticipated study, researchers analyzed the health outcomes of 2,451 patients over a six month period. They found that only 13% of COVID patients given hydroxychloroquine died, while 26% of non-hydroxy patients succumbed to the disease. Joining me now is Dr. Ramin Asqui. He is a cardiologist and CEO of Foxhall Cardiology. Doctor, how big is this study for hydroxychloroquine? Uh, I think, uh, as President Trump said, it's a game changer in the United States. Uh, we've seen excellent outcomes with hydroxychloroquine in Italy, in Spain, in France, in Turkey, Morocco. It seems as though the people that you quoted refuse to read any literature that isn't generated inside the United States of America, inside the continental United States. Uh, the study shows not just that this drug halves mortality in patients with symptomatic COVID infections, but also it's incredibly safe when used uh, with azithromycin, which is what we've mm -hmm. seen in the Northwell group in New York, Long Island, and we've seen in France with Didier Rouet's 3,700 patient study that was published late last month. This was this is a big one. And Dr. Asqui, I it want is. to dig a bit into this study uh, and what it found regarding heart problems. The researchers write a review of our COVID-19 mortality data demonstrated no major cardiac arrhythmias, specifically no uh, torsades de points uh, that has been observed with hydroxychloroquine treatment. Now, this would seem to totally refute the media narrative on this, Doc. Uh, it does. And it points to the fact that many of the studies that suggested there may have been a problem uh, with hydroxychloroquine in this regard and the safety signals that supposedly the FDA was concerned about were unfounded. As we've mentioned before, the Northwell Group in Long Island found no problems. I co-authored mm -hmm. uh, a, a letter to the editor of the British Medical Journal that reviewed this matter in depth. And the truth is, is that much of those issues probably occur because of sloppy medical care by the providers in using and using this drug in patients where it was not appropriate. Basically, patients who are essentially uh, a few uh, steps from the morgue. Well, I, I, all I can say, when I read this, I thought our personal hydroxychloroquine, Laura, would have loved this and seeing this report. Yeah. So sad she's not here. CNN medical analyst uh, and Cheney cardiologist Jonathan Rayner says Trump was foolish to put all of his hopes on hydroxy. Watch. He banked on magical thinking that the warm weather was going to make this go away, that uh, hydroxychloroquine was a magic bullet. And uh, he wished it away, and this is where we are. The good doctor might have been engaging in magical thinking. What does this mean for remdesivir, Dr. Asqui? Well, I know Jonathan. He's an outstanding clinical cardiologist whose great skills are in the cath lab, but I think this makes remdesivir irrelevant. You know, remdesivir has mm. never shown that it drops viral load. It never shows any mortality benefit. We have numerous studies that show this benefit with hydroxychloroquine when used in patients with mild or moderate COVID illness. And uh, I think remdesivir, uh, we, bought a, we bought apparently the U.S. supply. It was we mm -hmm. bought something that was worthless, but, you know, we can share it with the world. I think the fact that we have 60 million tablets in strategic reserve is going to be great for the southern states where this is Doc going to be desperately needed right Doctor, now. Doctor, I have to I have to roll. I, I got a hard break. Thank you for your time. 